Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artonian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here. Today, we're looking at Ceres. Now, Ceres has been in the news a lot in the last couple of days because there's some new images out, and this is where to get them. Uh, if you've got my app already, the Artonian TV app, which you can get on my uh, YouTube page, just by looking in the corner, and you'll see a link to it. You can just download it for free from there. That will link, to, link you to all these pages that I show you on, on these videos, and you can get the latest images from uh, Mars or anywhere else in our near solar system or even far solar system. This is the one I come to every day. Uh, this is basically the last seven days of NASA images and they basically have everything on here. Uh, you've got Ceres, you've got Mars, you've got Earth, you've got, you've got all sorts. You've got the Odyssey missions, you've got, you've got uh, all sorts of different stuff here. Uh, I mean it, it all comes down as soon as we get it, it comes to this site. Within about half an hour, an hour or so of it coming to the uh, JPL obfuscation department, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> it, after that it comes straight here. So this is where to get the latest thing. So I'll have a link to this. Now the image we're looking at is this one, uh, which has just come down. There's also a little bit of video uh, for this uh, particular image, which I will stick in at the end of the video, of, of this video, of course. Uh, it's just a kind of animated bunch of uh, sh still shots, I think, of the planet spinning or something like that. Um, so let's crack straight on. This is going to be a real quick one today. I'm gonna, uh, I do encourage anybody who hasn't seen already the previous uh, Ceres video I did. Uh, that I think I've done one or two in the past, but the, 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 the most recent one shows Ocator Crater and the lights in Ocator Crater, which is this area here in very good detail because they actually did some special images of this. Now, the NASA are still saying this is probably ice. It may well be ice, but it's extremely bright. Uh, now, as far as I know, ice isn't that bright, and on many of the photographs taken of this planet, this planetoid or moon, um, it's in fact it's so bright you can't even see anything around it for miles and miles around because it, it's, it's lit up like a Christmas tree. So that was one thing. So if you want to find out more about that and you want to see more about Ocator Crater, go back to my last video. I'll have a link to it just here on, on the page in the video so you can link straight to that uh, and have a look at the, the, the stunning detail because there are structures under this lot of, of light material here and it may well be ice, but I, I don't think it all is. Maybe some of it is. It's, it's highly reflective, uh, much more so than ice on Earth. Uh, so I would imagine it's made up of lots of different, uh, different types of material and, and uh, elements. There may be some very reflective type of metallic elements in it as well, who knows. But what we're looking at today is something I just spotted as I was looking at this picture up here. That looks like a very large structure some kind of tower or... Now, I appreciate this may be natural, uh, but it looks very odd indeed. Now, whether this is because of the way the image has been made up by NASA, this is probably not one image of the, of the, the actual planetary body. I don't know. It may be made of, of, of more than one image, and they may have kind of skewed it slightly or made a bit of a mistake where they compiled the images together. I couldn't tell you. Um, I will do a little bit more in, uh, delving into that to see what they did with the image. It will say on the page, just have a look here, uh, da -da -da, okay, so I'll go through this. I don't think this is a composite image, but they don't always tell you when, they, when these things are composite images because NASA are a bit sneaky like that. They like to put out publicity shots for the press and everything else, and the press really don't have any idea what they're looking at. Uh, and still come around and tell us researchers that we're wrong, even though they know, know not what they see. So uh, there we go. But um, this was the thing that caught my eye, uh, and the thing next to it here. There seems to be some kind of weird... Now, this looks like a natural kind of mountainous structure here. You can see craters all over, all over the place here. Some of these craters are very odd indeed. As I've said before, I found square craters on this, uh, this planetoid uh, or moon. Uh, it's about it's only about 590 miles across it's not very big so but even so uh, that makes this 
strange tower or weird structure. Very, very tall indeed. I imagine that's a couple of miles high at least. Uh, probably a lot more than that. Uh, I'm trying to work it out. Let's say that's 500 going across there. I would imagine that's something like uh, five miles high. The, whatever this is. Now, now this may be a bit of an optical illusion, uh, but I don't know. The, the, the light seems to be coming from this angle here, from the, from the bottom of the image, and we've got shadow at the top, so we are missing some of the top of this uh, globe here, the actual globe, but I can't see how much of the, it doesn't seem to make sense to me. I mean, a lot of this may be in shadow, and we're just seeing something poking out of the shadow. So this could be an optical illusion, I appreciate that. But I took a few clips of it anyway, just to have a look, because you never know with these things. There might be something interesting there. And I just clipped it out. And there seems to be something very interesting next to it, with some very rectilinear structures to it. And in front of it here also. Now, I haven't done anything to this. It's completely raw. I've just clipped this straight from that image. Okay? So I did some enhancements. I really brightened it up. I sharpened it a bit not done much to it at all really as you can see and that stands out a bit more this is really really strange uh, it seems to be joined to this structure here and it's got a slope coming down here and there's a very straight kind of long structure here and this thing here is also very strange indeed now I appreciate this may be an optical illusion some of this due to the angle of the Sun and the shadows and everything else but where Sarah's is concerned, I always have some doubt about what we're looking at because of the, the because of the lights in Okata Crater and be, because of the other structures I found. Okata Crater is absolutely full of enormous long road-like structures and even bridges and massive, massive, huge rectangular structures. I've also found uh, other areas that are lit up. I mean, these are quite common now. They would have, there's been a lot of stuff in the press. There are one or two. Uh, stories that have been uh, up in the press about this today. Uh, I think this was in the Daily Mail today, this one. But no one's, no one's kind of mentioned this yet, so I thought I'd very, very quickly do a, a, a little article about it for you. Here it is in negative. That doesn't really tell you that much more, but you can see that it's kind of it's joined here in the, in the centre, and it's not a separate thing behind, as far as I can tell. This looks like it's joined to this part here, and you can see how straight this is here. You can see very straight edges to it, and there's this thing over here that looks very straight, and this also looks very straight here. This corner looks very right angled, uh, and as far as I know, Mother Nature doesn't really build in right angles, especially not on this scale. Uh, but who knows, it could be an optical illusion. Uh, we, we do get these things wrong sometimes, but this is a very interesting image. And I will put some extra clips of this in at the end. And I'll have that little animated sequence in the, at the end for you as well. There was one or two other things I found recently on Ceres. This is just a bit of fun, this one. This one looks like a smiley face for all those people out there who now have pareidolia, including NASA, who often uh, publish images from space that look like faces. Uh, so they've obviously caught it from us researchers. <laughs> so it looks like NASA also have pareidolia there. But yeah, I just thought that was a bit of fun. Uh, and it looks like a face with an eye there and one there and a nose and a, a smiley face. Just a bit of fun, not too serious, but an interesting crater anyway, I thought, this one. Uh, especially this central part, I mean, that is quite odd. It's very straight along here, and this kind of looks very straight, some of this stuff. But of course that may also be down to pixelation. Uh, it may be down to the, the quality of the image. They are pretty good quality images. But they're very small, most of these um, images of Ceres. Uh, they're not huge. And they are zoomed in from a fair way off as well. Uh, there, th some, there's another image here of Oxford Crater showing the lights, but this doesn't show any real detail at all. This is actually not a very good image at all. Uh, it looks almost like it's completely fake, even. So there we go, guys. I'll put some extra clips in at the end. This was just a real quick one. Uh, I thought I'd get this out just to show... There it is, this is completely raw, I haven't done anything to that. I thought I'd show that, just to let you guys have a have a chat about it, let me know what you think it is. Is it a tower? Is it natural? Could it be both? Could it be a natural structure with a tower on it? Or is it completely natural? I don't know. 
pure speculation, of course. Uh, links will be below. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.